ourselves a day. I'm really excited to spend time with you all. So on the agenda, we've had a good morning, had a nice relaxing start to the day, doing some laundry, some things around here. But this morning, I also want to run over to the thrift shop because I have a trunk full of stuff to give away. So we'll drop that off. And while we're there, I thought we would browse, peruse the shelves. I'm still trying to finish this office. We're really, really close. We've made lots of progress. This has been a long ongoing project, but we're finishing it up. But I want to check out the books at the thrift store to see if there are any beautiful, inspiring books that we can fill the shelves with. So we'll check that out. And then I really, I'm craving a Target run. I just want to grab a cup of coffee, peruse, browse around, and see what they have. I haven't been shopping at Target um, since the Christmas stuff, which wasn't that long ago, but I love to see like their new stuff for springtime and Valentine's Day. So we're just gonna have ourselves a moment there. And then I might go to Home Goods, depending on what books we're able to find at, at um, the thrift store because I've heard that Home Goods has really great, affordable, beautiful books as well. So we'll check that out and also just their knickknacks, gadgets, and gizmos for shelf styling. So we'll see what they have and then I might start, I might stop at the plant nursery as well because I really want to get a Birds of Paradise plant for that corner of my office on the opposite side, right over there. So we'll see. And then once we get back home, I just need to get some work done have some laptop time and do some things around the house, getting organized. And for dinner, I wanna make our black bean bur burgers, our veggie burgers. So I'm really looking forward to that meal. We haven't made those in a while. So I need to also pick up the ingredients for that, but it's gonna be a beautiful day and I'm looking forward to spending time with you all. Here's today's outfit. I'm nice and comfy. I was debating if I wanted to tuck in this sweater vest or not, but I think I like it out. It's nice and relaxed. And then I have on these high-waisted jeans from Zara and these boots from Free People. fabulous experience we really hit the jackpot when I walked in my expectations were low because it kind of looked like slim pickings there wasn't a whole lot of books but I found four books that I'm really so excited about okay 
So I am kind of going for more neutral book covers just to kind of create a calming color scheme in my office. I do have some colorful collections, but I just like a little pop here and there. So the majority of books I'm looking for are this more neutral palette. And my trick is always look under the book cover because typically the hard cover of the book will be just kind of a neutral color. So we have this one and I think it's perfect. It's this beautiful cream color. And this book actually sounds incredibly fascinating. It's called Priscilla, The Hidden Life of an English Woman in Wartime France by Nicholas Shakespeare. So I think this would be a very fascinating historical fiction. I believe it's historical fiction. I don't know if it's a true story or not. And then the next one is The Secrets of Midwives. And this is by Sally Hepworth, which she's a fabulous author. I read her book, The Good Sister, and it was really, really well done. And the synopsis of this is women's fiction at its finest, a wonderfully satisfying story, touching, tender, and meticulously researched, giving the reader a fascinating window into the amazing world of midwifery. And if you've ever watched the show called The Midwife on Netflix, this is what it reminded me of, and I'm sure it covers like a lot of the same scenarios because midwives, they deliver babies. And Call the Midwife on Netflix, I really enjoy that show, but I will say it is incredibly intense because it is a subject that is very graphic, and unfortunately there are times where things go astray, so just keep that in mind if you are going to give it a watch, but I think Look, just witnessing that is a very beautiful thing. So I enjoyed the show. But look at this as well. It's a nice cream color. So they complement each other nicely. I'll show you all of the books together. And I don't know if I'll put them side by side, but at least we have some more neutrals to work with. Okay, and this is the first one I found. It's called The Mermaid Chair. And this is the best-selling author, Sue Monk Kid of The Secret Life of Bees, which I think I've heard of. I don't, I've never read it personally. But I read this little synopsis as well, and it sounded very interesting, and I just love mermaids. So as soon as I saw the word mermaid, I was like, okay, I'm interested. So we have this, another nice neutral. Beautiful, beautiful, loving it. Okay, and this last one, this one just made me so happy. Okay, look at this. It was published in 1981, so not that long ago, but a good 40 years ago, 41 years ago. And this is a Prayers for Girls book, and I looked it up. It's by Tel Thompson Nelson Publishers, and they have an updated version that looks completely different. I just love how retro the cover looks, and the typography is just so cute. And the inside is also really precious. There's basically different prayers for lots of different prompts and occasions, and I just think it is so precious. And when, as I was flipping through on page 44, it's a prayer for peace in the household. So it said, when there's fighting at home. And there's little handwritten notes on this one specifically. This is the only one where I saw a handwritten note. But I'll read the prayer for you and then I'll read the hand handwritten note. So again, when there's fighting at home. God... God, you can help people who live in a house together to get along. Bring peace into our home. Help me to do my share. Prepare me to be ready always to give the gentle answer that cools anger. Take away my desire to irritate others and prevent me from saying the angry words that stir up quarrels. If I am tempted to fight, make me able to keep my own temper. When my feelings are hurt, teach me to turn to you for comfort. Keep me calm under the shadow of your wing. In Jesus' name, amen. And then the previous owner, I guess, she wrote, read please in the corner. And then at the bottom, she said, P.S. We've got to stop this. Three strikes makes an out. This is already number two. So I wonder if she was writing that to herself, like we've got to stop getting angry, or if she was writing that to someone else that lives in her household to, you know, read this, say this prayer, like <laughs> passive aggressively. <laughs> I don't know, but I just thought that was very interesting and I just read a few of them and they're just so precious and it's so cute to have these little prompts. So I had to get this and I'll probably find a place on the bookshelf for this because I do love how the little book seam looks with that more retro typography. So very excited, clearly, if you can't tell. Very excited about these finds. So let's go to Target. I'm definitely ready for a nice coffee as well. And then I'll probably get some egg bites because I'm starting to get hungry.
got home, groceries are put away, and I'm sitting down to have a nice bowl of veggie soup. Those egg bites held me over, but I'm ready for something more substantial. And I am so excited to make these veggie burgers later. They just sound phenomenal. So really looking forward to that. And I'll do a little haul of the other treasures I picked up, but we had a pretty successful shopping trip. Thrift store was probably the most exciting. And then at Target, I found some other things to style the shelves with. So after I eat lunch, we'll go ahead and do that. And then just some other cutesy things I picked up. But yeah, we also have a cleaning activity that I'm hoping will work out for the outdoor bench cushion. So we'll work on that later this afternoon, but I'm just gonna sit down for a bit, answer some emails and enjoy lunch. Okay, let's do our little haul. So let me begin with home goods. This is all Valentine's Day theme. They have some really cute stuff. So firstly, I picked up this rope toy for Palmer for Valentine's Day. I feel like it'll be good because it is very tough. And he is in the phase right now that every toy he gets pretty much, it's destruction. He is in destruction mode. He wants to tear it apart. So I feel like this one will be quite the challenge for him and it's really adorable. So we picked that up and then I also picked up this card for Brandon for Valentine's Day. It says, let's talk about it. And then in the inside, it says how much I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. But I wanted to get this one specifically because when I was a junior in high school, I asked Brandon to prom because he was already graduated one year, which he's such a trooper for coming to me coming with me to prom after he already graduated. I know he did not really want to do that, but I really wanted him to come, so he did come. And so I wanted to ask him since it was my prom. And so I went to, we went to this Mexican restaurant and I made this little sign that says, let's, some, I forget, I need to find a picture. What did it say? I thought it said, maybe it said, do you want ta taco to go to prom with me or something really cheesy like that? so funny but I don't know it just reminded me of that so a little bit of our love story history and it was just a cheesy cute Valentine's Day card and their prices for cards are really good $2.49 which fancy cards like this can be up to $10 okay and then the last thing I got this heart banner couldn't resist I'll probably put it on the fireplace or on our media console I do have like a little teeny bin of Valentine's Day decor. I don't really decorate that much, but I still like to make it festive and celebrate. So we'll probably decorate like a week before or something like that. But I just love these woven felt banners and decorations. I just love how handmade they are. And this was $14.99. So we have that, cute, cute, cute. And then Target. Also, I did go into Lowe's, the garden center there and they did have Birds of Paradise, but none of them were the right size I was looking for. So I didn't end up getting any plants, but it always is just so lovely to walk through and see all the beautiful flowers. So that was enjoyable. Okay, I already showed you my books from thrift shopping. So we'll go ahead and style those in a second. And then from Target in the little Bullseye's Playground dollar section, I picked up this card set because I just love to have these cards laying around for different notes. And these are pretty general that you could use them for so many different occasions. And it's cute because it came with six note cards, six envelopes, six seals, and one 10 foot thing of twine. So that was really great. And then for additional shelf styling, I had so much fun in the home, just in the home decor section. I spent so much time there. It was kind of <laughs> excessive, but I was really hoping to find pillows because I would love to put two pillows on those chairs right there. I have some clothes piled up, but um, on those two chairs, I would love to find a cute, cozy pillow, but I'm just not finding one. I've been looking for one for, looking for two, a pair of pillows for quite some time, but I can't find exactly what I'm looking for, which I think I'm still deciding what color and texture because I have tried different pillows on those chairs, but they almost blended in too much. So maybe I should do a pop of color or if I just need one with more texture, I don't know, still looking for that. But I did find this pretty vase bowl Let's see, oh, ceramic bowl. I love the color of this, this pretty sand color. So we'll see if we can find a good spot. Just like another great thing to kind of fill up space, make it look all 
curate it. And then I also found this bowl, which this one came in a longer version that I had in my cart for a while, but then I went with the round version. And I don't plan on putting anything in these bowls, so if it looks silly to have two bowls with nothing in it, I may return one, but we'll, we'll kind of play around with it in a second. And then I also have these two storage bins. So we have this little one, which is super cute, and then also this bigger one, which I think this is maybe designed for, I don't know, I guess you could use it for a lot of different things, but it's kind of neat that it has dividers like that so we can get really organized. And I already have a couple storage boxes, like this one right here. So if it looks too excessive to have so many different boxes, again, I can return it, no biggie, but we do have quite a bit of space to still fill it, so let's play around with it right now. at the bottom I don't think I'm gonna keep that there I just don't have anything in it currently and I do like the color of it but maybe I'll actually put a plant in there in the spring and just put it to the side a little bit but just keeping it there for now and again I'll probably switch this up a million different times but so far it's coming together so I put our first bowl up here I would love to add some more books in that corner and then our other bowl right here by our alabaster books, which I think looks really beautiful. And then our new books and my cute little box is right here. Oh, I need to flip them actually. Just realized they're upside down, some of them. But I love that. I think they all just complement each other really nicely. And I totally want to read this pretty much every day if I remember. I think it's just, again, so precious. And then our big storage box is just at the bottom. I would say this one fits the least because it is quite large actually, but I feel like the bottom is a great place to put it and I actually filled it with a few little knickknacks, which is helpful to have that additional storage. So I'm happy it's coming together. Again, still trying to find some pillows. So hopefully we'll do that soon. And then after we find our pillows and fill in the shelves a bit more. I definitely want to film a full office tour so I can kind of share my favorite office supplies and just the whole entire details of the space. changed back to comfy clothes and we're gonna do a little cleaning experiment because the cushion on our swing bench in the front porch is looking very very sad it has a bad case of the mildews I think it just is getting all these spots on it and about a month ago I cleaned it with baking soda and vinegar and I think it helped a little bit and it definitely helped kill some of the bacteria which was great but I need something a little heavier duty. So today I picked up some borax from Target and I'm going to try to remove the stains. So I need to mix this with some dish soap, water, I believe. I'm not sure what else, but I'm gonna do that and then scrub, scrub away and then we'll just hose it down and lay it out to dry. Hopefully that'll help. I'll show you what it looks like right now. It's kind of bad. It's not the, the cushion and the swing bench in general, I don't think is designed necessarily explicitly for outdoor use. So I don't know, um, but I will say the swing, the rattan part has looked really good. And thankfully it's under a, uh, the roof of the porch. So it doesn't get that much rain, but just with the humidity and everything, it definitely gets some wear and tear, but we'll see what we can do. Yikes. It gets worse by the day, honestly. Hopefully we can work some magic.
and put some elbow grease into that. I probably scrubbed for about 15 minutes, maybe even a little longer, but it looks better. I'm hoping it's not just the foaminess and layer of the borax and cleaning solution. I hope it actually works, but let me show you. And then I'm just gonna leave it for five, 10 minutes and then we'll spray it down and that'll be the big reveal and moment of truth. Here she is, she's looking a lot more crisp. I, I can definitely see like some little dots underneath the foaminess still, but I'm hoping it'll just kind of set in and I feel like the sun shining on it also makes it look more bright and white. So I don't know, but it's gotta be better, right? It's not gonna make it worse. Unfortunately, it appears that that did absolutely nothing. It looks essentially the same. So that's a bummer. Please let me know if you have any tips or tricks or if I should just accept the fact that this cushion has seen better days. This is what Brandon said about the bench cushion. I said that even if it doesn't look cleaner, it is cleaner so we can feel better about sitting on it. Yes, I love it. Way to look on the bright side. <laughs> Still looks very sad. All cozy in my PJs now, ready to cook dinner. So the first thing I'm gonna work on are the veggie burgers, which are the black bean patties. And I bake them in the oven. And then I'm also gonna make sweet potato fries and cook those in the air fryer. And I also got an extra thing. Let me show you. These crispy onion rings with panko breading and sea salt by this Alexia brand. I've never had these, but I've had this brand of sweet potato fries before, just already pre-made, frozen, and they're really good. So I just saw these, I'm like, mm, that sounds delicious. Maybe if I'm even feeling extra crazy, I'll put one on my veggie burger. That just sounds delish. So really looking forward to this meal. Let's get cooking. excited about the onion rings he saw them and was like whoa yeah. we're so we're just having fun tonight i'm still gonna put the pickles on it but we have all the fixings i put a little cheese on the burgers that's what they look like without anything on them i love how colorful they are 
And then we also have banana peppers, jalapenos, onions, avocado, looking good. And I'm totally gonna eat an onion ring on it. Why are you being so loud over there? <laughs> While we eat our meal, we're gonna watch Survivor, which is my all time favorite show. I absolutely love this show and we both equally love it, which is fabulous. So we are on season 37 and so far this is my personal favorite season. Would you agree? It's hard to say. Maybe I just think that because we're in the midst the of it. The first one was very special. That's true. You're being sentimental, though. Well, and it was just super good. Yeah, you're right. But anyways, we're excited to get cozy and enjoy this. and an amazing episode of Survivor. This little one is ready to play. Come say hi, come say hi. He's ready to play. I'm ready to go to bed. So we'll do a little bit of both. We'll compromise, okay bud? But anyways, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I cannot wait to see you next. Bye. Okay.